What's up guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're back with the 328F, I mean not F30, E90. So yeah guys, we went ahead and picked up a new door this morning, I also did register the truck, that's where we went this morning, we went to go register the truck, and we also got a new door, so this door is going to fix our issue with the driver window. So this driver window, again, you guys saw how they put blocks on the rear windows, uh, but that was honestly, you can remove those, you can put everything back to how it originally was with no issues. The driver's door, they ended up putting some screws and they bent some brackets to where actually the window goes up and down to the point to where you can can't actually normally bring it up and down anymore. Like the guts are all messed up, which is unfortunate. Even though the door looks good from the inside and the outside, the guts are destroyed. So that's what sucks. So yeah, guys, that's why we got a new door. But also, uh, the truck is registered. So shout out to iRegs. A lot of you guys always ask me where I get my car registered. I'm gonna have the link down below. They're actually now located in Sacramento on Fulton Avenue. Uh, so yeah, that's right next to pretty much all the car dealerships right next to literally the, the heart and core of Sacramento. So for any of you guys who want to get your car registered, uh, quick and fast, you literally go in there like five, ten minutes, your car is registered. Super easy, lovely people. I love them so much. I always go to them, skip the lines, definitely worth the little fee. Yeah, make sure you check them out down below. Without further ado, guys, we got the door. Let's go ahead and replace the driver's door. Yeah, guys, so this door, um, yeah, just pretty much needs new guts. Um, as for the other door, uh, this one needs to be replaced because of the dent on it right over here. Now, honestly, this could probably get fixed, but we're trying to avoid the body shop. We're just gonna get new fenders, put on a new door, and hopefully avoid all that. Um, and then we're also obviously got the new window regulators for both rear windows, so we should be Good to go on those um so yeah the goal is to pretty much fix this all up at the house without needing to go to any body shop and then fully wrap this thing my brother has some pretty crazy ideas for wrap so it's gonna be really unique i've never actually done this color before uh but yeah also we want to fix up the interior we want to go ahead and fix up whatever the heck that's going on over there uh so yeah the goal is just pretty much get everything working in the interior all the windows put on new doors and this thing should look a lot better you know so today's gonna be a really satisfying day so without further ado let's go ahead and remove this door Alright guys, so we pretty much got everything that we needed off of this door, uh, again, because we had to gut everything. Some of the things we just took it off for resale, other things we took it off just because we needed to transfer onto the new door. Uh, first things first, this car does have the shadow line trim, it has the black trim. Both doors you ended up getting had the aluminum trim, so thank God this car actually came with the black trim. So the black trim right here, we're going to go ahead and reuse this. We obviously need to reuse the door panels, uh, this one didn't come with them, this one came with the black one. Other things we're gonna go ahead and take off for resale is these windows, so uh, obviously the driver window is good, all the windows are good, so we can go ahead and sell this window. The window regulator and the motor is good. Uh, this one, um, we're honestly, there's not much to really salvage off of it. Uh, this whole mirror is pretty much shot, but I mean this mirror, uh, the glass itself, we can sell it. This cap, we're actually gonna reuse it for our new mirror. Our new mirror is actually gray. Uh, the only thing you have to replace is this cap, so that's a win. This is the door actuator. The door actuator actually worked just fine, so we're gonna go ahead and reuse this as well. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to reuse this part, and we have the speaker, so uh, yeah, just a few extra things i decided to keep this as well why not uh door handle looks pretty good shape and this one of course we have to transport over because this is for the the key lock this does look a little wonk but i hope it will still work without further ado i think to remove this door we're gonna go ahead and just remove those two nuts right there those two nuts down here and this bolt right here we also need to remove the two bolts that hold on all the wiring Now that we got the door off, guys, here is the new door. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know what's in it, what's working, what's not working. What we're just going to go ahead and do right now is just mount the door. Once you mount the door, we can go ahead and figure out what we need to add to this door. Uh, but, yeah, guys, I'm hoping it's going to be easy because this is obviously going to take a lot of alignment um, and just trying to get all the gaps all perfect. So, again, we're going to probably be finessing this, working back and forth, back and forth, just to get the gaps all perfect. Once the gaps are all good, then we're going to go ahead and uh, try to put everything back together.
Um, this is how the new door looks after about, I don't know, uh, like two hours, bro, finicking with it. how much we're yelling at each other. And yeah, we, just... we do this off camera. Guys, because honestly, I, I, you need two people to line up a door and it, it's it's all about communication, like, bro. I was holding up the door, right? And Nora was like telling me, you gotta move it up and down. I was like, what do you want, up or down? He's like, left or right? <laughs> just like, really Did you move it in there? Dude? But it's, it, it is really complicated to line up this door, guys. Like you need two people on like the same sink to line up a door. It is so complicated. Like doing a fender, doing a hood, doing a bumper, doing a trunk. Honestly, anything, even a side screw, anything on this car is easy. It's just the doors are a little complicated. Um, but for the most part, guys, uh, we did get this stiff to work. This was a fully gutted door. I didn't realize it when I bought it because he had it fully wrapped up. Um, so yeah, it was fully gutted. So we got the door handle on there with the lights. Um, we did get the key in there. The key works. When you unlock the door, um, so yeah, the door, when you unlock it, it doesn't like fall lower. So as you guys can see, the gaps are pretty good. But again, when you close the door, it doesn't feel like, it feels like, oh, this is hitting before the bottom. Yeah, it feels like the top is hitting before the bottom. But other than that, guys, if you just close it from like right here, it shuts and it looks really good. Like when it's shut, it looks really good. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the mirror just yet, but um, everything in here also works. The window works, the window regulator works. So we're all graving the Navy there. Um, so that is the main thing. As for the door panel, we're not gonna put that on because we're still waiting on the side mirror. It should come in uh, tomorrow. So hopefully in the next video, we'll be getting that installed. But in the meantime, guys, uh, me and my brother are actually gonna reconsider replacing that door just for now, just until we can figure out this 100%, uh, just so we don't have two doors that are completely misaligned. And then um, we're probably gonna start working on the rear doors right now. And a couple hours later, guys, we have a brand new door with a functioning window regulator here. This door has a functioning window right here as well. Thank the Lord. We're still waiting on our door handle. But this door, guys, we also got the window working. So next thing I wanna do is actually start working on the center console. So at this point, guys, we haven't put on this door panel because we're still waiting to put on the new mirror there. Um, all the windows are working, so that is a great plus. Um, now it's just this little you know, wanky situation over here. Um, it looks like they had like an after din radio set up or something over here. So they took out the bracket and everything. Thankfully, they did leave all the, most of the brackets in the trunk. We did have to get a new bracket for this guy. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start taking all this stuff apart, put in all the new brackets so, uh, you know, our radio isn't sagging and stuff. Just like that guys, today has been a very successful day. It's been about six hours of us working on this car. We started at 11, it's about five out, it's about 5 p.m. right now. It's kind of crazy, we've been actually working this long on the car, but um, we got a lot done. Let me go ahead and show y'all.
uh, guys, I think today is a pretty good day. We went ahead and replaced an entire door, actually all the guts as well. I've actually never actually replaced the internal guts of a door. We did the window regulator, which is the first time I think. Um, I think maybe on another car I've done a window regulator, but not on this car. So first time doing a window regulator, actually not too shabby. Replacing an entire door, I did it on my E92 M3, but I, all the internals were already on that door. So replacing the actuator was new. Replacing the door mechanism was actually new. All the door pieces. So that was all new, but it's actually not that bad, thankfully. There's gonna be a truck video coming up pretty soon. I know that a lot of you guys don't actually like the truck videos, but um, that's why I'm also doing a kind of jam-packed. I'm doing so much things in one video for the truck. So it's gonna be basically a month's worth of work in one video for you guys. And that's because I honestly wanna show you guys, there's a couple of things I couldn't do on this car. Like the oil uh, pressure sensor, I replaced it. Um, it needed a new um, fuel pump. It needs a new cluster. I mean, older cars like this, and it's a Nissan, you would assume that everything be pretty cheap to replace parts and labor, but no. Actually, everything's located in very stupid positions and everything's super fragile and easy to break. So honestly, it costs a lot of money to replace those parts. In terms of Nissans, they're actually very reliable engine-wise, but all the little pieces, clusters, um, again, sensors, fuel pumps, all the little things here and there, door handles, everything just breaks and they're so complicated to replace. I mean, BMWs, what I like about them, it's like Legos. Where everything that comes apart can easily be put back together. And this is what I love about BMWs. And this is why I'll continue to work on BMWs because honestly, I love them. It's enjoyable. It's satisfying. But yeah, guys, without further ado, that's going to have to conclude this video. Hopefully, in the next video, I'm going to be trying to get those tires on the car. Probably, hopefully, we can actually get the other mirror, possibly even put on this door. So, we can try to put on this next door um, so we have both mirrors on the car. I'm going to try to hopefully get the door handles so we can place all the door handles on there. We have new tires. I want to put everything on there and just pretty much get it in tip top condition. And then, obviously, we have all the maintenance, at least not everything. We, we're still waiting on a couple more things. That's why I haven't started that yet. We're still waiting on a couple filters and some other things. And then we can do a full maintenance haul on this thing. And just when you guys think it's all going to be done by then, nope. We got a full body kit coming, some more carbon fiber, some modifications, and then a wrap job. So this thing's going to be absolutely insane. So for a budget build so far, the way it's looking, not too shabby. I think we're in about the car, like as it sits right now, about like 2000 or or like 1800 So not bad, guys. But we're in the budget. But yeah, guys, without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.